love that shark. It was incredible. Yeah. Oh, that was great. <laughs> All right. Now that you just dived the world's sixth largest ocean, what's next? Well, prove it on this video. Yeah, you've been there, you've done it. You've walked the famous ledge and actually went over it. You've taken the plunge to a place that sharks and eagle rays hang out. You went down to almost 30 feet and swam with thousands of fish. You've explored one of the best looking reefs this side of Australia's Great Barrier Reef. Spent some time in the Caribbean? No, one better. And you didn't have to slap on sunblock. You were one of the few to strap on scuba gear and dive one of the most talked about dive sites in the world, the Living Seas at Disney's Epcot. Well, the obvious things are going to be the sharks and the turtles and the rays and all the tropical fish, but also look for the two-legged variety, the guests, the Disney guests on the other side of the acrylic windows that they'll be interacting with and getting their photo taken of constantly. Now, the Living Seas at Epcot isn't called the sixth largest ocean in the world for nothing. It's almost six million gallons of salt water. Here's some fast facts. The water is recirculated every couple of hours, 35,000 gallons a minute. It's more than 200 feet in diameter, and thousands of fish call this home, including dolphins, rays, sawfish. Yep, and you came within two feet of this guy. And those teeth are a couple of inches long. It was a bit daunting at first, it was a bit scary, but uh, then you just, you just realize you're in this world and it's just, it's, it's amazing. And there's some sharks in here, look at this guy. It's all part of the food chain. Speaking of food chain, these folks in the Coral Reef restaurant were watching the group too closely as we swam by. They take that fresh catch of the day thing too literally. I wonder if they're the catch of the day today. <laughs> Well, this is the same place that movie producers come when they're looking for that perfect underwater scene. Maybe the guys with a camera will get our good sides. Diving in the living seas is kind of like becoming Superman in flying. Incredible. The fish think you're one of them. And the people watching us through all those windows, well, we're not exactly sure what they think, especially when we swam upside down, looking as sharp as any porpoise, almost. Well, I haven't actually been watching the divers. I've just been watching the dolphins. <laughs> well, it's absolutely amazing to, to believe that someone can actually dive with a fish and, uh, and actually communicate the way they do. I think it's a great experience that the divers can come here and Search. swim with a fish. It's something I certainly love to do. Well, like they say, it's a hands-on experience here. And inside, you can reach out and touch a whole other world. Hey, that's us.